what the fuck? I'm not sure if this looks different to y'all, but it looks different to me. Um, let me see. Uh, it's just not the same. Oh shit, I'm going 70 miles an hour. Hola, senores and senoras. Yo soy Jairo. <laughs> um, I'm in a pretty alright mood today. Um, everything seems okay so far. So far, so good today. Um, but I mean, that's just how yesterday started too, and it ended up pretty shitty. Pretty crappy. I'm trying not to cuss as much. I apologize. Um, yeah, it ended up pretty crappy. Um, just because of stuff. I guess the, the main thing was work. I guess, which is, you know, work. Um, it's work, man. Yeah, that was just like, you know, one. I'm not going to say the customers were bad, although some of them were. But um, it was like. There was this one customer that like, refused to accept that she was wrong. And I, I understand that maybe she, because she had downloaded some apps up there that would like give her a notification. It's like basically one of those uh, apps that you can like lock out or like in order to get into your pictures, you gotta put in a code or whatever. But it's basically like one of those apps. Um, and there was also like a notification app that like told her how much RAM she was using or whatever. Um, that, that's that's what she, she had downloaded or somebody's downloaded that for her um, and she refused like I, I, I uninstalled the apps because she was like, oh this keeps popping up and and then whenever I leave this app this pops up I was like yeah because every time because that, that's what the app that you downloaded was meant to do um, it's supposed to show you the statistics how much RAM you've used while using that app or how much RAM you're using now currently after you've been done using that app that's what the app is supposed to do the app is doing its job if you didn't want that you should just you know not install the app I, un I uninstalled it for I uh, made calls because apparently the same app was like hanging up her calls or something I'm pretty sure that was just her not being able to use her phone um I never got her name. I never really was interested enough to learn her name. Um, trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Oh yeah, and she was like, yeah, I've been here for four months coming back, you know, every month. And I was like, okay, well, after the first month that you saw the phone was defective, which the phone really is not defective. She just keeps downloading apps because her phone is working 100% fine. But she's like, yeah, you know, um, you're all going to have to reimburse me my phone or at least pay it forward to another phone and I'll just pay the difference I was like man we can't do that if you have the phone for 15 or more days we can no longer return it um, that's just Walmart's return policy you can't we can't give you any money back we can't that's where I got arrested um one of the two places um <laughs> can't do anything you know what I mean like we can't do anything that's Walmart's policy and, then, and first of all I don't even work for Walmart so I can't do anything you know and it's just like, oh just give me some credit I was like I can't give you anything you know I mean myself even if I wanted to I couldn't return something for it, reimburse something for it, or exchange because I just don't have the power in my hands to do that, you know. Um, and I don't know. She just and she stayed that like after I fixed her phone, like I said, and then she was talking about her husband having dementia or something. And I don't get me wrong, I feel bad for that, you know, for her, you know, wouldn't wish that on anybody. Um, but um, I was like, it, it could just be possible that her husband downloaded apps while lucid. 
just forgot, like trying to help out his wife and all. Okay, let me save her some RAM or I don't know, whatever. I mean, I don't know what he used to do in life. He's, like I said, he's going, he's in the early stages of dementia, so she said. And that was a little bit too much information for me. But she was like, oh, I need this phone for emergencies. And even if I didn't delete the apps, like all she had to do was press the home button and or the back button. I mean, there's buttons on the phone, woman. And then if you didn't want to do that, press the, the, the multi-window button. Multi-task button. I don't, I don't know what it's called, if I'm being honest. Tab button. And then just look at the app that's popping up and uninstall it. And she was over here talking about, oh, I've worked in phones for 40 years. That's where I get my retirement money from. It doesn't seem like it. It does not seem like it. I mean, you would expect that if she worked with phones for 40 years that she would know at least in the latter end of her career she would have interacted a little bit with smartphones so she would know what to do in her own situation and then she would be like oh well, I don't download apps because I told her what it was I told her mom I don't download apps yet there's Instagram the Disney Channel, uh, Wayfair, and like other apps that you could not, like do not come pre-programmed into the phone. Yeah, they were there, you know? So, like I said, I do not understand if it's her, if it's her husband. I asked her if she had like grandchildren or anything like that, or she had she was around any kids, because like, said she had Disney something, Disney Resort, I don't know what it was, on her phone, and then she had like multiple like birthday card apps on her phone, she had two of those, two or three of those, and I'm just like, ma'am, like I don't, uh, like, just, it, it just seems like she didn't want to be helped, that's what it really seemed like, or like she just, she just did not want to be wrong, is what it was, and I was like, I understand, like, yeah, sure, you've been back here every every month for the past three four months by the first month i would have returned the phone if i haven't you know a serious problem with it and if not by the second month why would you wait four months you know and then she's gonna ask me how long i've been working there you know so i don't see how that's re re relevant i fixed your phone for you obviously i know more than you do you know and all i did was uninstall three apps can't see my eyes right now but I am blinking a lot <laughs> um she was she was like the main thing of my day and um and there was this other guy he's come back probably every day for the past two three weeks you know and he didn't buy the phone from us he just bought the, the sim card from us so I mean that isn't any like my problem uh <laughs> what well, is kind of sort of but not really um now what it was with him was that his phone just wasn't compatible with the SIM card or the phone said it was an invalid SIM card so he called straight talk himself or a track phone himself and he was just like hey can y'all fix this for me he's like yeah and I'm like yeah sure we're just gonna send you a new SIM card um and all this and all that and they're like oh and he's just like okay cool is that who I think it is? <laughs> oh my god. I'm not sure if I can tell y'all who that is. But, um, real cool guy. Real cool guy. Um, what I, what I was saying is just like, like, and they, like, they, were, they sent it to him and it still says that, like, it wouldn't activate his phone. And then, like, I, I go on to, like, the Drag Phone My Account app and it's like he doesn't even have. Uh, doesn't even have an, uh, a phone number, so I call Straight Talk. I mean, Track Phone, uh, which is Straight Talk's parent company anyway, so it doesn't matter. Or sister company, it doesn't matter. Um, and I just say, hey, um, he has set up an account. He's even put money onto his account, but uh, he does not have a phone number. I have the ICC ID and the IMEI 
of the phone if you need it. But uh, like I said, he does not have a phone number. So could y'all help me out? And she's like, "Oh yeah, I could certainly try." And they're like, all the all the all the people are like from the India. So and then you know, there's nothing wrong with people from the from the India. From India, I just I just put the word "the" in front of it because that's how we say it in Spanish. Um, but they're all from India, and then it's just like. Just, like I said, I'm not trying to be racist right now. There's nothing wrong with Indian people. Uh, it's just that, like, some of them have such thick accents that I cannot understand what they're saying. And I can understand most people, regardless of their accent, but the, with the, to them, not at all. Not at all. Some of them. Now, some of them. Some of them speak like almost like without even having an accent, or just their accent just isn't as strong. I'm just like, heck yeah, I can understand you. Thank you. And then there was other people too, and then there was like external reasons. And I don't know. I just kind of like all piled up in my mind, and I'm just like, frick, frack, you know. And I just got really upset that day. And by the by the end of the, by like eight o'clock, that's when I leave. I was just like, you know, I'm just really, if I had any money, I'd buy a bottle of alcohol and I'd chug it all tonight. Um, I, you know, or I, that or drugs, but I'm trying not to do drugs anymore, so I guess I'll do the, the legal equivalent, I guess, or I don't know. I'll do whatever is legal and we'll show up on a drug test. But that was my day yesterday, on top of some other rude customer, not rude customers, just, I guess, it's just, just, just talk, straight talk people don't know how to, not straight talk, track phone, I don't know, whatever company doesn't know how to do their stuff or their computers are messing up or something like that. But again, that was my day yesterday. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, goodbye.